so let's refresh our page that works so select an image upload as you can see it also works so hey guys welcome to my youtube channel in today's tutorial you are going to be learning an amazing animation that you are going to love to use in your web project now before i before i begin anything let me show you how it will look like by the time you integrate this into your projects so if i open new tab now i will going to go to dev.2 i'm very sure you are familiar with dev.2 so in this uh website there's an anim there's an animation that is being used that lets everything stand out so if i click on my dashboard now you're going to see the loading bar as you can see the loading bar appears and it disappears when the content is loaded so let me open my um, um dev2 and change my network to offline so you're going to see once the content is not yet ready it will keep on loading can you see it will keep on loading and loading and loading until the network um come alive so let me restore the network back so now i'm in fast 3g on better still no trolling so if i refresh my page now let me click on refreshed so let me um, click on it dashboard so once network is alive it's going to load and once the content is ready it will disappear i'm very sure you love this uh, animation it's a great one so without further ado let's dive straight to the code so i'll be using this uh my ajax image upload progress bar to um to integrate this project so before i proceed let me show you how this my ajax project bar works for those who don't know how it works so if i select a picture the picture will automatically be uploaded without uh reloading the page or doing any other page reloading and everything is going to work based on counting and it will show the green bar so if you are looking for this tutorial kindly check it on my channel it's available for those who don't know we have this tutorial so it's on my channel you can go through it and um, learn how this is done uh, and learn how this is done so now for the paste um, loader which we are which we are seeing on this dev.2 for the paste loader we are going to go to this website i'll provide the link in the description so we are going to go to this website code dots uh, code be, code by zach.github.org slash piece so with this space js you can achieve that yes you can definitely achieve what dev community are using over here so now to um to achieve what we want in this page now so we are going to download this flash let's see different designs that are here so you can either go for this design use this design or um go for the few left or flat top just about anyone that you actually care about but for me i love this uh mac this macro hex x so i love this format so i'm going to be downloading this uh sorry this flash format i'm going to be downloading this so i'll click on download and it's going to ask me where the download should be so i'm going to um trace it to my um root directory where my project um where my project part is so i'm going to create a new folder new folder called css because it's a css file inside the css i'm going to save the flash.css into it then for the javascript i'm going to copy this link so i'll copy this link then ctrl c i will ctrl c the link then open new tab paste it in a new tab so i can decide to use cdn but i don't want to use cdn so i will highlight everything copy everything then close the bar again so i uh, will um open my code uh we open my code using this um my folder the ajax progress folder so don't get um, um um confused i'm currently running on my project folder so in my ajax folder here i'm going to create a new folder called js i'm going to create a new folder called js so a new folder will be created here in my root directory called js good so in my js i'm going to create a new file a new file called paste.js okay in the paste.js i will paste in um the um the the js i copied from my browser but if i save this now my vs code is going to um give a space in this so uh i will I will advise not to save it using um vs code so don't save so this is what i'm going to do i'm going to edit the file 
from my um from my main directory here so i'll go to the js file again then i will open it with um notepad so notepad won't affect the co the um, compression so the compression won't be affected so i've i've saved that now so if i go back to my vs code it's already loaded into this place good so let's close this place now so the next thing to do is to target your header 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 side so after the title you will have to add the paste um, css and above above this place the paste css the paste js and other uh, attributes you would like to add so the first thing to add is the paste js or the paste css so let me link the paste um, css so link css okay so i'm going to target my folder which is css slash flash css good now for the js2 i'm going to um, link my js into this place so source which is what js slash paste.js okay so um let's go back to our browser let's go back to our browser refresh this page as you can see it's working perfectly can you see it's working what perfectly so uh we are going to change the color of the loading bar so we need to choose this color again from here so for you to change this color you have to first of all come back to this place and choose the color manually so let me choose the color to my desired color so let me use red i think um yeah red is red is great stand out now as you can see it's not red so let me download this red again then i'm going to override it with the current version i have save replace yes good now that has been replaced very fresh this page as you can see is what working fine now the next configuration to do is to apply this thing to javascript because what we have here is is a javascript core so once you click on home it load without page reloading as you can see is what is calling the page just there without page reloading so we're going to use the same thing to upload our, our our file so whenever a picture is being selected whenever a picture is being selected and you click on open and click on upload it's going to show the progress bar alongside with this progress bar too okay so let's apply that effect so to do that we go back to our code and after the js after the paste your js you're going to oh sorry you're going to um bring in jquery because we also need jquery in this um in this um function with paste js uh, depends on jquery so let's add jquery above so we're going to go to the uh to google to get jquery so jquery cdn yeah let's use jquery cdn so i will copy this very first one Control c okay Control v great then above this place i'm going to introduce the scripts so any area you are using jquery you must make sure you have um yeah you have the page.js included and also jquery included so whatever you want to use ajax make sure this space and this ajax is included alongside with your flash that css every page you want to use it so now in this place now we're going to check if paste has stopped or if paste is still working so to do that i'm going to i'm going to use jq document ready so we can use jq document ready to do that so i'm going to say document sorry document document come on don't confuse me jerry uh -huh, nice one document dot ajax sorry ajax ajax starts so whenever ajax begin pace is going to restart as you can see I specify that okay in this document whenever we have sorry whenever we have any ajax query in this document start restart paste dot um restart paste dot js that is this paste dot js is going to restart whenever we have any ajax query any ajax command or ajax uploading or ajax query ajax authentication 
anything that jacks is going to automatically restart the pace so the pace the gs is going to restart so to now let's save this now and go back to our browser then refresh this page now our page reloading is working so the next thing to do now is to choose is to check for the uploading so i'll click on image then upload well it's still it's not working it's not working mm, yet okay let me try to um slow the network let me change the totaling to slow 3g um yeah slow 3g okay slow 3g upload wow it's still not uh, moving so um the next thing to do is to check our code i think the placement is wrong i think the placement is wrong so let's try to place this below so i'll cut it now oh and i think we have a jacks already as you can see i have um i have jquery already so let me delete this jquery is already uh, is already uh, existing my project so i've deleted the previous one i had it so i'm going to start this new one here so i will move the pace js down so down the document of my body so let me apply it here. so the pace js will be here okay so i believe it will work in the body sec in the body section so let me save that and do this again refresh uh, is it working okay that works so now let's try to upload an image again wow working working absolutely fine okay so let me um try to set this to offline and let's see what we have so i'll click on another image okay so upload as you can see is working perfectly it's working perfectly so fast 3g or no throttling let's return it back to no throttling so let's refresh our page that works so select an image upload as you can see it also works so thank you so much thank you so much for um watching this tutorial kindly like and subscribe on my ch um, kindly like and subscribe to my channel comment any video request you would love me to um to make then i will definitely um surprise you by making the video thank you one love